Uh, so we're here at Mountain Gardens in a sort of a shady spot under this dogwood next to this little sometimes creek if it rains a whole lot. So it's a damp, uh, low-lying, shady, uh, nice humusy soil and we're going to look at yellow root. This is not where you would typically go looking for yellow root. Where you would typically go looking for yellow root is along the banks of creeks and bigger rivers. That's where I see it mostly. But on my property this is the best place to try and grow it and in fact it has been very happy here. <coughs> I put one plant in uh, maybe 30 years ago and it's now a patch oh, 10 or 15 feet around and it would be quite a bit bigger if I let it. So, yellow root Xanthoriza simplicima or simplicissima. Xanthoriza means yellow root, actually. That's xantho with an X, meaning yellow in, I think, Latin. It's actually a shrub. So if you want to come up closer and look, we can see that it's woody up to here. So in the winter all this green is going to disappear and what's going to be left sticking up is a whole bunch of woody twigs. About yay high. It doesn't really get any higher than this. Make quite a nice ground cover if you had a big area of wet, you know, proper soil that you wanted to cover. And it's blooming or just about finishing up blooming. There's some horny goat weed mingled in with it. This is the inflorescence that's here in the axles at the base of the leaves. Very tiny little flowers and they'll be followed by uh, the seeds are inside these little minute capsules. So we can look at a little bit of the root maybe. We can fight our way down. So this is a berberine containing plant. There are a number of berberine containing plants. Berberine uh, derives its name from barberry, which is known as berberis. So barberry bark, root bark, or barberry root is a source of berberine. Also Oregon grape, Mahonia, which is in the barberry family. Those roots have berberine, also uh, golden seal, and one that uh, is more common up north, New England, Canada, uh, gold thread, coptis. And then in Chinese medicine, we have Huang Bai, Huang Lian, and Huang Qin from three different families. Uh, one is a tree bark, and the other two are roots. So there are a lot of sources of berberine and they're all slightly different as far as what they'll do. They have other associated compounds. But this is a very uh, easy and abundant one. This makes a good substitute for golden seal. So this was a major plant for the Cherokee and also for the settlers for stomach complaints. So it has antibiotic properties as well. Xanthoriza. Thank you.